for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Wilson's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Russia's ring walks have been known as... Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is 10 rounders. And now he scores well with a straight right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And yet another big shot comes in. He just fought the other guy's fight. And now, it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Wilson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Nice strike after catching one by Hound Dog. Right to the body. Wilson's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Crusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Right to the belt line. Blocks it away. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. Rusher's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Wilson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Crusher. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Good flush shot upstairs. End of the round. To his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point. But not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You were going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. He's still not moving enough. Move, move! Hound Dog's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Hound Dog's got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Banking away those body shots. Able to dismiss that body shot. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on a roller coaster again, like a kid. Looking good. Nice work with the uppercut. To the head he goes with a left hand. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. Well placed, straight right hand. Dude. And round number three is underway. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. 
Nice block by Crusher. Hound Dog showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. A well placed left hand up top. Crusher's having a lot of success with that short hook on the inside, Teddy. How's he pulling that off? Oh, well, first of all, he's got his opponent dropping his right hand a little bit. He's finding a home. There's a wide open spot. The combo lands upstairs. Crusher's right hand scores well. Right to the body. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Crusher. Hound Dog starting to bleed from the nose. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Good, solid, solid. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wilson's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. He gets off with a combination up top. Rusher's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counterpunch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Rusher's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice work, nice work. Rusher's right hand scores well that time. I think our fans out there will be curious to see your scorecard here at the beginning of round number four. Hound Dog's been willing to throw punches. He, his punch output is high, but he has not earned a round on your scorecard. Yeah, but Joe, that's why they call it the sweet science. It's not enough just to grab a guy, put him in the ring, and say throw punches. You gotta throw at the right time, at the right distance. You don't do that, you pay a price, you lose rounds. Wilson's finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turn that you need. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, and there you go. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Five, six, seven. Nine. Hound Dog shaky right now. He survived the knockdown, but I don't know if he can take much more. Goes up top with a right hand. Look at that! Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's gonna step in now and stop this. This fight is over. Wilson smashed and he can't get up. Unable to beat the...